Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a little different for me. I generally do my videos during the day, so it's the lighting. I actually like it, and it, yeah, I like it better. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, groceries, gas, all of that kind of stuff. Everything is going up. Uh, they say that even our electricity, natural gas, all of that is going to be going up. So everything's going up except for wages, seemingly. Seems to be how that's going. And I also want to talk to you about some stuff that, some things that we're doing uh, to kind of combat that, that we started doing this a couple of months ago. Originally, I started, I put 20%, 25% more in my budget. So for groceries uh, weekly. And so, that allowed us to have some, a little bit of wiggle room, but it also allowed us to start gathering things here and there whenever it was on sale so we can, you know, put it, instead of buying one of something, buying two of something. We've continued to do that over the last couple of months. The other thing is, is I don't go to multiple stores. I go to my, my rate, I go to Winco. Um, that's it. I don't go to Safeway and Albertsons and run around and get a bunch of deals. So I go to one store and I get everything I need to get at that store. I get in and I get out. I follow my list and I'm done. But what I've noticed is my grocery money isn't going as long as far as, you know, it has been. And so I'm going to have to up it again. So this week, this coming up next, uh, next week, I will be upping it another $25. And so that will allow me to get a couple of more things. And we've been doing that over the past month or so, gathering. And I'm gonna show you what we have gathered, kind of what we've gathered, just give you an overview. And I also wanted to give you a couple tips on storing it. So let's go. So these are a couple just a little baskets that I have, uh, organizing baskets. I have several of them. I, for some reason, just gather them um, and they just accumulate and then I'll use them for a project here and there or whatever. I do have a bunch of dollar store ones, but they're all used at the moment. These are not dollar stores, but they're going to serve my purpose of pointing this out. Um, these are about four inches tall, maybe five. Yeah, both of them are about the same height. And you can put whatever you want to put in these as far as cans, toiletries, and whatever else you want to put in there. But my point is, is you can put them directly under your bed. If you have, like, a very small space, you don't have anywhere to put shelves, maybe you live in an apartment, whatever, they will fit right under your bed. And Dollar Tree sells, and Dollar General, sells um, basically the same size. I think it might be an inch shorter, but it's the same size for a dollar. So along those same lines, you could also use an Amazon box, cut it to the, the height of uh, the opening under your bed, cut it to that height, fill them up. They're virtually free. Then you don't have to pay any money for under the bed storage or for, I mean, maybe you could put them in your closet. Maybe you have a some floor space in your closet, top of your closet, in the bathroom, cupboard, whatever. Just use what you have. Okay, so these are a couple things that we got today. These are just a couple little travel packs, uh, some little dental picks. Uh, we got three of those. Some flushable wipes. Although I do have to say, don't flush these. Um, I come from a family of plumbers. Don't flush them. They're great, but just don't put them in the toilet. Throw them in the garbage. A couple packs of those. Some ivory soap, because this will clean anything. It'll clean your body, it'll clean your hair, it'll clean your dishes, it'll clean your floor. Clean everything. Got a couple packs of those. Those are about a dollar a piece, I think. A dollar five or something. Let's see. I forgot to tell you how much the wipes were. The wipes were 68 cents, a couple packs of those. 
the little dental picks were also 68 cents. And I got uh, two packs of two of matches. And also got a lighter. Yep, the lighter I think was like 26 cents. It was crazy. And these matches were I think a dollar fifty a box. So not bad to add to my little stockpile. Okay. So I wanted to show you these shelves my husband made. There's three of them. He made those just this weekend and he made them out of stuff, all the stuff we already had. The only thing we had to buy for these is some screws because he ran out of the screws that he needed. So that was the only thing he had to buy. But these are, I don't know, you can't tell very well, but this dark part down here, that came out of an old china hutch that was built into this house when we bought it and we tore it down, but we saved the wood because it was really durable, really strong. And all of these are just pieces of wood that are about the same width, or not the same width, but the same, same thickness. And these were just salvaged, a p old piece of something that he cut up and used for the braces. So, yeah, he made three of them. This middle shelf was all from that china hutch, mostly. And over there, that one is one that is pretty much solid plywood. Okay, so let me show you some of the stuff that we've been gathering for a couple months, but until he built these shelves, we didn't have a whole lot of places to put. Now, I'm not going to go through all of this, but you can see we've got shampoo down there, uh, hydrogen peroxide, we've got some Gorilla Tape, uh, coffee, salt, uh, some canned salmon. A lot of that stuff came from a couple trip, different trips to Costco. And let's see, paper plates, which, I mean, we actually use paper plates. A lot of people don't, I know, but we actually use them. We have a lot of people over quite often. And I would just rather use them than dishes, so. Okay, so then we have some juice, coconut, uh, coconut oil, some ramen, a pack of Lucky Charms that actually doesn't go up here, but that's okay, I'll take it downstairs. Some stovetop. By the way, I wanted to tell you about the... I've been gathering some of the stuff for, uh, say, Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas dinner already because they're saying that that might be an issue, you know, having like a run on things that you would normally buy for Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner. And so I thought, well, I'll just start gathering it here and there and here and there because it's a lot easier to afford something when it's 2 or $4 a pop rather than a whole entire $100 grocery trip. And then plus the issue if it, you know, maybe they're out of stuff or whatever. So let's see. Back here we've got uh, tin foil, Ziplocs, uh, let's see, some uh, dried, dried potatoes, cake mixes, baking sodas over there. Let's see what else we got. A whole bunch of canned goods. We we have been gathering fruits and vegetables and beans, all kinds of stuff. And I I know this looks like a chaotic mess, but it'll have some rhyme or reason once I get these shelves organized. So I hope you have enjoyed the little tour. Uh, eventually, whenever I get it all put together, I'll have to give you an updated tour. But I was going to say that if I only had, say, $5 a week extra that I could put towards this, I would go to Dollar General and I would also make, you know, the rounds to a couple of the different stores, see what they had on clearance and, and all of that. I definitely would do that. Now, maybe you don't have a Winco or an Aldi or anything like that. You just have to do the best you can with what you have. And... Maybe you get a couple little travel size things, just like I did. You know, a handful of little travel size things. Maybe you only have 2 or $3 this week. Use what you got. That's the name of the game. That's what you, you just have to. And so, and in doing that, it makes you get a little creative whenever you're trying not to spend a bunch of money or you just can't spend a bunch of money either way. 
you do need to get a little creative and use what you have. So I hope this is, is encouraging to you. And let me know what you guys are doing for, you know, getting ready for winter or maybe you have an emergency food pantry. I would love to know about it. So let me know down in the comments and I will see you in my next video.